Uh, hello, this is Wardrobe and McMurray. McMurray. Uh, here for a bigger battle using... Oh, yeah, here's the table. So it's a similar table we just played on, but uh, we're going to do a meeting engagement just because we want to test the rules. And so uh, you're coming on this side. So he's McMurray's the Germans coming on this side. I'm the British coming on that side. Britt Paris. Um, I swear, and, I usually like playing the good guys. Yeah. So uh, anyway, but it's basically we're going to do flame. We're going to use Flames of War bases. Yeah. So basically, guys, instead of having five or six individual figures in 15 or 28, we're just using a base instead of a figure. So we've got a leader, basically four infantrymen, and a squad support weapon. In every... There's a P and the Panzerfaust in this case. Yeah, so we basically tried to make the forces as identical as possible. So we've got NCO, essentially four infantry, and a, uh, again, in this case, anti-tank weapon. Okay. In each of three squads. Okay. And then a Sherman and Panzer 4H, as well as a mortar for each one. So instead of having essentially a platoon of guys, we've got a company on the table. Okay. And, and then we have a, a, a leader for a each commander, one. Yeah. So, and so we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Each of us will get six cards. Mm -hmm. So everything's going to be pretty much identical. We're going to deploy uh, just using our card. So if I get I get the king of spades, I'll get to deploy on the table with a regular action. So, um, and we made all their traits. Everything's the same. That way we can just test, you know, just kind of how it plays and how it feels, and then we can start adding, you know give commanders trades and do all this stuff. But right now we just wanted them all to be the same. So uh, we'll come back after the first turn and talk about how it went. All right, everybody. Turn one is complete in our epic bigger battle. I guess I shouldn't use epic. That's a term for gaming. Uh, our bigger battle game, this full of lead. What do you mean? What's a term for gaming? Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it right now, McMurray. Yeah. We're, on, we're on video. Yeah, sorry. These are normal 15. Normal 15, figures. not 12 and a half so millimeter. Be epic. I apologize. Um... Anywho, uh, so we moved on. I, I knocked down one of his squads down to one stand. I ran, also ran out of low ammo. Uh, this guy got two shock on him. And that's pretty much what happened McMurray. He moved his guys on there. That, that, and that squad's Mortar. gone. Mortar in the tank. And the uh, my commander, crew, not crew, squad, and my mortar's back here in the woods because I saw his mortar and raised him one. So they're moved on. This turn they'll limber or unlimber, and then I can fire on turn three. And uh, yeah, the long range fire thing is pretty uh, pretty brutal. So what we're doing is um, their their range is twenty four inches zero to twenty four is uh, short range, and then table is. Um, In one turn, the other has managed to knock out a full car to the other guys. Like it's it's it, it hits, but it's not crazy. Yeah. But anyways, yes. So yeah. So we've talked about, you know, need more terrain, and we could make these linear things like you can't see it, but we're counting it as cover if you're shooting over it. Or you could say if you're shooting over two linear trains, you can't shoot or something. So you could you could come up with some things. We're using traditional, got to be essentially on the edge of the woods. It says an inch, but that's essentially, you know, a base. Um, and then six inches in. Oh, that doesn't look good, what I just did there. And then, of course, buildings are hard cover, and we'll uh, come back. All right, into turn two. Uh, so it's my turn to take all the hits here. So my tank's out, so I'm down to five cards. These guys are low ammo, so they suck. This guy's got two guys down in a shock, and Toddy's feeling the feeling the heat again. Doggone it. Just kind of hoping I could win a bigger battle game. You have won a bigger battle One game. time, dude. We've played two bigger battles oh, games, Oh, my Todd. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 50%. <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway so so that's what we're doing we're thinking we might you want to start this turn we are going to limit the range to i don't know if it's going to matter too much this turn in this so turn pretty close but yeah you know what i mean yeah oh, that's right never mind so we're going to keep it the way we were but we're thinking instead of doing 12 24 and then table 12 and 24 become 24 and 48 yeah. so all so right it won't, it won't solve everything but it will put the cap on it so like these guys Aren't hitting Todd's guys when they were back into yeah. the field, stuff yeah. like that. It's working both ways because I was blowing a guy yeah. out here. So, Accurate. but yeah, it is kind of when you're playing short table edge, it's you're already in range. So, mm -hmm. all right. Anyway, that's it. We'll see it next one. And yeah. turn three. Yes. Go Our on. mortars fired. Did nothing because that's what mortars do in this. Not just this game. Lots of games, but. 
Um, well, I guess I did. Did I hit actually? No, I didn't because I rolled. I hit, but then my deviation was so far that. Save. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we both hit deviation. They got four shock and eh, whatever. And they got it down to one, two stand. So now they're a small unit. So that's cool. Yeah. And he's bringing all of his mass over here. I, it's pretty much one challenge with the, well, the range thing is that, you know, then you kind of get shooting across the table. So you really need more terrain. Um, but that's kind of it. I mean, not a whole lot of action, just kind of moving around, shuffling stuff around really and some portion. Oh, so, all right, into game, turn four, game over. So <laughs> I have one part of a squad left and a mortar and that's it. Killed my leader, killed two or three squads, we're done. So he would have one, two, three, four, five, six dice to cards to my one. So we are calling it. Actually, I'm calling it. So blowout. All right. So what are your thoughts about bigger battles with Flames of War bases? Basing bigger battles with Flames of War bases. I would still maintain that playing them just like you play bigger battles with single figures doesn't make any difference. The only difference is the perspective. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's. It, we, I, I feel like it worked. We farted around with it with bolt action, everything else. It's just all it does is add a different look to the game, which ultimately that's what most of gaming is. But I really enjoyed um, the look of having a company on the table. I think some of the game, some of the rules that we messed with, that we found or we we played with, as with anything. Bigger battles was kind of like original uh, fistful lead. Maybe Jay will beat me up for saying this, but you know, it's the basis for you to then change things on and, and make your own happiness with. So we'll just have to figure out how to make your own happiness. Sound. It's so incredibly wrong, but I had a good time. Yeah, I think, yeah, it worked great. Now this is my, well, my second game with stands. Yeah, I mean, I think it works perfect with the stands and having four or five dice per uh, platoon seems right. Um, yeah, we got to think through some things like the range, I think is really the only thing I kind of am concerned about right now, honestly. Yeah, just some of the range of shooting stuff. Um, I think we need to figure out how we're going to stat out tanks. Yes. Because it's it's a little weird with World War Two stuff and all that. Yeah. You know, on the stands, so... Yeah, we started statting out tanks and things, kind of getting some thoughts. But we got to think through like armor and what they can do and all that sort of thing. And I'm not sure about the full table range for firing. I'm not. I don't know. So anyway, all right, yeah. cool. Thanks for our game. First uh, opposed infantry game with that. That was cool. Yeah. And uh, thanks, Jay Wiley, for uh, bigger battles and yeah, awesome. uh, all the views. Thanks everybody. See ya.